William Scott Jack Elam, born November 13th, 1920, died October 20th, 2003. Jack Elam was an American film and television actor, best known for his numerous roles as villains in Western films, and later in his career, comedies, sometimes spoofing his villainous image. His most distinguishing physical quality was his misaligned eye. Before his career in acting, he took several jobs in finance and served two years in the United States Navy during World War II. Elam was born in Miami in Gila County in south-central Arizona to Millard Elam and Alice Amelia Kirby. His mother died in September of 1924 when son Jack was only three. By 1930, he was living with his father, older sister Mildred, and their stepmother, Flossie Varney Elam. He grew up picking cotton. Elam lost the sight of his left eye when he was stabbed with a pencil during a boyhood altercation with a fellow Boy Scout. He was a student at both Miami High School in Gila County and Phoenix Union High School in Maricopa County, graduating from there in the late 1930s, also attending Santa Monica Junior College in California. Elam worked as a bookkeeper at the Bank of America in Los Angeles and as an auditor for the Standard Oil Company. In World War II, he served two years in the United States Navy and subsequently became an independent accountant in Hollywood. One of his clients was movie mogul Samuel Goldwyn. For a time, he was a manager of the Hotel Bel Air in Los Angeles. Elam made his screen debut in 1949. On television in the 1950s and 1960s, he made multiple guest star appearances on many popular Western series, including Gunsmoke, The Rifleman, Lawman, Bonanza, Cheyenne, Have Gun, Will Travel, Zorro, The Lone Ranger, The Rebel, F Troop, Tales of Wells Fargo, and Rawhide. In 1961, he played a slightly crazed bus passenger on the Twilight Zone episode, Will the Real Martian Please Stand Up? That same year, he also portrayed the Mexican historical figure Juan Cortina in The General Without a Cause, an episode of the anthology series Death Valley Days. In 1962, Elam appeared as Paul Henry on Lawman in the episode titled Cludy Hutter. In 1963, Elam received a rare chance to play the good guy, reformed gunfighter and deputy U.S. Marshal J.D. Smith on the ABC Warner Brothers series The Dakotas. A Western intended as the successor of Cheyenne, but the Dakotas was telecast for only 19 episodes. He played George Taggart, a gunslinger turned marshal in the NBC Warner Brothers series Temple Houston with Jeffrey Hunter in the title role. Elam got this part after James Coburn declined the role. Unfortunately for him, that series only ran for 26 weeks. In 1966, Jack Elam co-starred with Clint Walker in the Western film The Night of the Grizzly. In 1968, Elam had a cameo in the Sergio Leone's celebrated spaghetti western Once Upon a Time in the West. In that film, he played one of a trio of gunslingers who were sent to kill Charles Bronson's character. Elam spent a good part of the scene trying to trap an annoying fly in his gun barrel. In 1967, Elam appeared on The Way West with Robert Mitchum, Richard Widmark, and Kirk Douglas as a light-hearted preacher Weatherby taking part in a wagon train on the Oregon Trail. In 1969, he was given his first comedic role in Support Your Local Sheriff, which was followed two years later by Support Your Local Gunfighter, both opposite James Gardner. After his performances in those two films, Elam found his villainous parts dwindling and his comic roles increasing. Both films were also directed by Burke Kennedy, who had seen Elam's potential as a comedian and directed him a total of 15 times in features and television. Between those two films, he also played a comically cranky old coot opposite John Wayne and Howard Hawks' Rio Lobo, 1970. In 1974-75, he was cast as Zack Wheeler in the short-lived comedy series The Texas Wheelers, in which he played the long-lost father returning home to raise his four children after their mother dies. In 1979, he was cast as the Frankenstein monster in the CBS sitcom Struck by Lightning, but the show was canceled after only three episodes. The remaining eight were unaired and remained so in the U.S., though all eleven were aired in the U.K. in 1980. He then appeared in the role of Hick Peterson in a first-season episode of Home Improvement along Ernest Borgnine. Elam played Dr. Nicholas Van Helsing, an eccentric doctor in the 1981 movie The Cannonball Run. Three years later, he returned in the same role in the film sequel Cannonball Run 2. In 1985, Elam played Charlie on the Aurora Encounter. During production, Elam developed what would become a lifelong relationship with an 11-year-old boy named Mickey Hayes, who suffered from progeria. The documentary, I Am Not a Freak, 
shows the closeness of Elam and Hayes. Elam said, you know, I've met a lot of people, but I've never met anybody that I got that got next to me, like Mickey. In 1986, Elam also co-starred in the short-lived comedy series Easy Street as Alvin Bully Stevenson, the down-on-his-luck uncle of Lonnie Anderson's character, L.K. McGuire. In 1994, Elam was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. In a wry and oft-repeated comment on Hollywood's superficiality, attributed first to Hugh O'Brien, David Huddleston classified the stages of a moderately successful actor's life, as defined by the way a film director refers to the actor suggested for the part. Huddleston said this on a George Plimpton ABC documentary about the making of Rio Lobo. Ricardo Montalban later used the recitation numerous times as speeches with his own name. Stage 1. Who is Jack Elam? Stage 2. Get me Jack Elam. Stage 3. I want a Jack Elam type. Stage 4. I want a younger Jack Elam. Stage 5. Who is Jack Elam? Jack Elam was married twice. First to Jean Hoggart from 1937 to her death in 1961. Then to Margaret Jennison from 1961 until his own death. Elam died of congestive heart failure in Ashland, Oregon in 2003, just a month before his 83rd birthday.